Hi, it's Helen from crochetmantra.com. Welcome. Let's get creative. Hi, welcome back to crochetmantra.com. Today we're going to learn how to do the double crochet stitch. It's a very beautiful stitch. It's a much taller stitch than the single crochet that we learned and it's taller than the half double crochet that we learned. So without further ado, let's get on. Okay, so I have prepared a chain of 23 stitches here. We're going to make a 20 stitch swatch plus three. So there's 23 stitches. The extra three stitches allow us to turn the corner and to stitch back. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is yarn over and then insert your hook into the fourth stitch from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four. Insert your hook into there. Yarn over, pull through the loop. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through just two loops. So you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops. And that is our first double crochet. And this is our ch turning chain. Let's go to the next stitch now, which is there. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through so you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's your second double crochet stitch. Let's go to the third one. Yarn over. Always remember the first thing you do is a yarn over. So it's yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Let's do the next one. Don't worry if this stitch pulls up a little bit. When you get, so you've done three or four rows, these all sort themselves out and, and lay nice and flat. So we've done this one. We're on the next one now. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. In, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And you can see our row of, of double crochets developing. Each one of these we refer to as a post. So when you see in patterns that, that there's so many posts, this is what they're referring to. One, two, three, four, five, six posts. And that's just our turning chain. So we're going to carry on now till the end of this row. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Notice how I'm also holding my work all the time because this first row is the most difficult. There's nothing to hold on to really, only this tiny little bit of chain here. 
So it's it's just nice. It stabilizes holding your work where it wants to be. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, find the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. Yarn over, move your hook along to the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the second two. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the second two. Yarn over. It becomes almost a mantra. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the second two. Yarn over. <laughs> Insert your hook. Pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. Okay, so we've got our final two stitches here and this on the end is our knot. So we don't stitch into our knot. So you can see, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it says we've got two more to do. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. And the last stitch, yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there is our row of 20 double crochet. We've got 20 posts and 20 of the Vs along the top. It's very important to count, otherwise your swatch will end up as a triangle or ziggy-zaggy if you have different numbers of stitches. Now let's turn the corner. So we need to chain three. One, two, and three. Always do that chain before you turn the work so it doesn't twist. And then we simply flip our work. Okay, so yarn over. This stitch we've worked, so we work into this next stitch. Insert your hook, pull through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Make sure at this point that you go under both parts of each V. Pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over the first two, uh, hook through the second two. Yarn over. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, three loops on your hook, through the first two, yarn over, through the second two. So we're working on the back now of our swatch. Uh, this counts now, this turning chain, 
as a double crochet here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And when we get here, I'll show you how to work this because it, it looks just a bit strange and not particularly obvious. So I'll meet you up again when we get to the end. Okay, so we're at the end now and let's count how many stitches we've got. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that says to me we're doing a swatch of 20. So we have got to somehow find a space here to put one in at the end. So yarn over. If you tip your work a little bit, you'll see there's another V stitch here. Yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there's our nice edge. So to go up onto the next row, we go one chain, two chains, three chains, and flip our work. So we're working again on the front. Okay, so we've worked this stitch, so we have to work the next stitch. So yarn over, pull through, insert your hook, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. And you see it's getting easier to hold now, you've actually got some work to hold. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This bit here is the place that you're more than likely to make a mistake. So we'll get to here, we'll go round and turn a corner. By the way, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe, please hit the bell um, because that makes sure that you will receive notifications of the videos that I put up um, as well as the teaching videos. There'll also be some lovely, lovely little projects that you can take on learning and using the stitches that you've already learned. Um, and how to mix and match them up and how to um, make simple projects. So, for example, if, if you wanted to make a scarf or something, you could use this stitch and it would make a beautiful warm scarf for the winter. All you do is continue your row of chains along here to as long as you want your scarf to be, to as wide, rather, as you want your scarf to be, so maybe 18 inches or something. And then simply make it as long as you want it to be. Um, and then you can put tassels on the end um, and there'll be a video showing how to do that. Um, you, could, you could stop when they're squares and you could make pot holders or coasters or there's no end to the limitations and possibilities that, of things that you can make. So like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you don't miss any tutorials. I would be so grateful. Okay, 
So we're, we're on stitch 19, which is this V here, this one here. That's our next stitch. So this is 19. Now for the 20th stitch, you need to think about this turning chain here. We've got one, two, three. Yarn over. Go into the top of that chain three. So you'll see there's a nice little hole there. And if, if you tip it, there's a little bit of a V here that you can see. So you need to go into there. And that means that keeps our work nice and straight. So we've got nice straight edges. Don't worry about these little holes. When it starts to grow, they will sort themselves out and fill themselves in. So you can see we've got a beautiful straight edge developing here and a lovely straight edge here. If you've made a mistake, just pull out your work until the mistake and just start again. Chain three to allow us to turn the corner. Flip your work over so we're looking like this at the back of our work. Now I'm just going to do two or three stitches here with you. Yarn over. We've worked this first stitch already. Insert your hook, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you just carry on with this process. You can pause and scroll back if you need to just refresh on the ends and have a look. Um, just carry on now until you get your swatch to either a square shape or to the size you want it. If you want it to carry on and make it longer for something, just carry on. And I'll show you how we finish off. So we're at stitch 19 now and we need to find out where to put the next stitch. So don't be afraid to pull your work about a little bit, it'll sort itself out. So you've got your chain, your turning chain, one, two, three. You need to look for this hole here, there. Yarn over, insert your hook under two threads. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now, if you were continuing, you would chain three and turn your work, but we're going to finish this swatch here. So cut a tail, maybe six inches or so long, yarn over and pull it all the way through, and then pull it tight. That makes a knot, and that's what stops your work from unravelling. Grab a darning needle, which has the big eye, so it makes it easy to thread through. I tend to do it this way. I fold the tail end over and slide it off and flatten the wool. And it just goes through the hole easier. So we're going to finish off in the same way that we finished off the previous single crochet swatch and the half double swatch. What you're aiming to do is to weave in your tail, hold your corner so it's it doesn't lose its shape. You're ending, you're going through just different fabrics and the idea is that you lose your tail in your work. Go backwards and forwards a few times just to make it secure so then you're going to know if you were giving your if you'd made a scarf, you could give it knowing that it would not come unraveled. And cut your tail off quite close to your work, but be careful not to cut your work. And we have our tail end that we started with. So we do exactly the same thing. Pull it through and weave in the ends. Just pick up some fibres and aim to, you're aiming to go through the middle of the fibres 
so you're not going all the way through to the other side you're catching the top layers of the fibres so you can lose them and then you, nobody will see that they're there and you know that your work is secure and then simply carefully cut your end and there is your double crochet swatch and you can make this chain as l wide as you like so we did 20 here you could make 60 or 80 or 100 you know make it as wide as you like and you can make it as long as you like this would make such a beautiful scarf it's so warm okay so coming up on the next video is the treble stitch which is an even longer stitch so i look forward to seeing you then next tuesday to show you how to do the the treble crochet thanks for watching bye let's get creative together